No, I've never. I haven't seen them without the curtain on and the lights. You, know, you go out, you look at it, and you lift it up. But what's it like when you go out front and you see it for the first time from the road, from the street? Oh, it's exciting uh, because all the time, the effort, and you've been thinking about it for months, and then to see it actually done, it's like. Wow, this is nice. I like it. And then it's like, oh, wait, why didn't I do that? Why did you sort of pick apart what you've done? But all in all, I really do like it, and I'm pleased with the windows this year. I think they look good. Um, and I know some people might say, well, what does it have to do with Christmas? But it's for children. It's for the children and all of us, I think. So. Oh, you look at them all, and you you, you remember each of these each yes, of these fairy tales. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, yes, I'm happy, happy, happy. Thank you for doing this for the community. This, this really is a treasure. You're more than welcome. Thank you. <laughs> How soon in advance do you make your plans? St I, well, we really we talk about it maybe at, at Christmas. Try to have it all planned out of what the windows will be by July, because in July I go to Atlanta to market, and maybe there's some things I can find there that would work for the windows. But the, it's, it gets complicated of what you can do into the windows too. Whether it's, when we're planning it, okay, uh, what's it gonna cost? Can we get the materials? Uh, how are we gonna be able to get it into the window? Because once it's in the window, it, Yes, it stays there for six weeks, but light bulbs burn out, and we have to get back into the window, and it's very tight space to work with. And we make everything. What's, what's the biggest challenge you, you have doing this? Dealing with Bob. <laughs> Dealing with Bob. Late, last minute changes. Oh, by the way, can we do this? Um, uh, yeah, that would be it. <laughs> cool thing is how you guys all work together. I mean, you've obviously done this a while together. You all, yeah. you all know your roles and, and everybody. I mean, it really is interesting watching you guys work together. Yep, yep. Comes with having worked with each other for a long time, I guess. Able to get this collection of soldiers and these figures to be sort of mounted in the back and come forward so they're not sitting flat on the floor because otherwise everything's, you know, the floor doesn't rake. Hmm? The floor doesn't have a rake to it. Yeah. Right, you know? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. these whole things, they'd look like Frankenstein underneath because they are just all bits See. and pieces. I go to like thrift stores and find like a head or hands or something. And then I take them all apart and I reassemble them so into. You, you put that together. Oh, th yeah. This is what I do. This is this is what I do. Is I do I create all the figurines, and so. See, you know, I just looked at it and thought, oh, you bought that somewhere. Well, again, and this is what people think. But then, no, again, and this, and then, and then Bob and I went out. So I'm visiting. I was like the Dollar General buying like 15 zillion packets of little cards and <laughs> chopping them all up, and then these are just all little like little ribbons just all sewn together assembled. No, this is, you know, as I said, Tom builds the sets and then I make the figurines. That's why we start working in like June or July to start creating these things. But yeah, like this was a little crying boy. And, and I'm like, golly, I can take him and then suspend it above her will be dangling in the air will be her yelling off with her head. Yeah. And we said a Oh that's uh, Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Rapunzel let down your hair. Right? So look at this. See, did you see this? The deck and the beast. Oh, look. Oh. That goes all the way to the top, outside the top of the building. Oh, that's a garden pose. It's really cool. Is that cool?